Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Disney's Hollywood Studios and I am so excited because there are so many new snacks in the park and I wanted to come out and show you guys and try some of them and then on top of that, I've been really wanting to ride Slinky Dog Dash and I was able to get a lightning lane this morning so we're going to ride that and eat some food and have a beautiful Disney's Hollywood Studios kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is such a beautiful day today in Disney's Hollywood Studios. The temperature's in the 70s. And I think we're going to start off the day with some blueberry waffles at an ice cream parlor or an ice cream shop. I bought the Genie Plus for today and it was $27 for all four parks, but I had to get it if I want to ride Slinky Dog Dash. The line is always an hour long and uh, when you buy the Genie Plus, Slinky Dog Dash, the Lightning Lane sell out instantly. So I had to get up at 7 a.m. to book a Lightning Lane for Slinky Dog Dash today at 2 p.m. and then it was gone. So we get to ride that, then we're doing Indiana Jones and we're going to see how much we can get done with uh, the Lightning Lane early in the morning because it's like 10 a.m. Hand scooped ice cream and waffle platters. Mickey shaped waffles served with fresh blueberries, whipped cream, and syrup for $9.49. They're blueberry Mickey waffles. I have been on kind of a breakfast kick recently finding all of the best breakfast foods here in the Disney parks. And these blueberry waffles are such a hidden gem and they're only available till 10.30 in the morning. So this is the only place you can get them. And then also the uh, churro Mickey waffles at the Crystal Palace. Maybe we'll do a whole series of the best breakfast foods in Disney and uh, start making a bunch of videos early in the morning. Who knows, but now let's get to the waffles. Let's get to the Mickey waffle business. Look at these little beauties. I love it. Three blueberry Mickey waffles with strawberries and whipped cream for $9.99. And then you can come sit down, listen to some of the cool music of Hollywood, stare at the billboards like Sunset Hills, and listen to the screams of the people riding Tower of Terror. Breakfast to champions. I was going to use a fork, but ears first always and I think I might use some whipped cream and strawberries put it right on the ear like that look at that maybe I can get a blueberry in a bite too look at that you can see the blueberries right inside there and I love that it comes with the whipped creams and the strawberries to add to it I am serious about the breakfast food. If you guys know of any good breakfast like items uh, that I should check out let me know in the comments but I like the blueberry waffles. I like different flavored waffles that you can get only at like certain locations. And the same thing with the churro waffles like I mentioned and the macadamia nut pancakes at Kona Cafe and the seasonal pancakes, they're all good. Everyone loves waffles and pancakes. And I love Mickey waffle shaped pancakes and waffles. Honestly, if things aren't Mickey shaped, they don't look as good. Look at these waffles. They don't look as good as they were before. They need the Mickey shape, it's important. In the future though, I would love if they could put equal amount of blueberries in every single waffle. Just like in Casino, Robert De Niro would be proud. I want an equal amount of blueberries in every single waffle. Enough of the blueberry waffle business. I think we're gonna make our way over to Indiana Jones now. I've been wanting to see that show. We have our Slinky Dog Dash lightning lane for 2 p.m. I'm gonna try to modify and move it up if I can, but if not, uh, we'll do Indiana Jones, then Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, then Slinky Dog Dash, throw in a couple of snacks in between, and that sounds like a pretty good Hollywood Studios kind of day. Oh, also I wanna head over to Star Wars Land, maybe Rise of the Resistance. Who, you know, might as well. Here is a look at the wait times for today. Looks like Smuggler's Run is 60 minutes. Rise of the Resistance, 95 minutes. Slinky Dog Dash was 95 minutes. Tower of Terror, 55. Mickey and Minnie, 70. It's a busy day. Usual wait times here at Hollywood. On top of trying some of the new snacks here, I also want to grab lunch at one of the restaurants, either 50's Prime Time or Sci-Fi Dine-In. Uh, only because those two restaurants I feel like I haven't been to in a while, but I couldn't get a reservation. So I'm going to be checking uh, the My Disney Experience app today and hopefully I can get like a same day reservation for either one of those res uh, restaurants. I'll take either one. 
to be honest, I don't think I have been back to Indiana Jones since it first reopened after the shutdown. Like, I haven't sat down and actually watched the show. If I didn't just have those blueberry Mickey waffles, I probably would get a funnel cake from Epic Eats. Right outside Indiana Jones, it is so good. Those funnel cakes are amazing. They have an Oreo one right outside. And uh, yeah, looks like we're heading in now. So it's time for the show. Time to start the show. I love Indiana Jones Epic Stunt Spectacular. I think it's like one of the, it is, it's almost the last remaining like studio-ish thing here at Hollywood Studios. And they used to take volunteers, like you used to be able to, like they used to like pick people from the audience to go and actually participate. And I remember I did one here, I think it was Lights, Action, Motor, the, the stunt show. I think that's what it was. I uh, participated in that, but I never did Indiana Jones, but they're not doing it anymore. So it's not gonna be today, but it's really cool seeing the displays and uh, the movie fight scenes and all of the fire so uh, yeah I'm excited it's been a while the Indiana Jones show and I hope they never get rid of that it's, it's truly the last studio ish thing here and uh, it also reminded me of what I wanted to do when I was a kid I always wanted to be an actor and be in the movies and I kind of I kind of still want to do that I, I want to be an extra in a movie or a TV show like I don't want to be like a main actor I don't want any speaking roles I'll even take a punch I'll take a punch just like an in Indiana Jones so if any of you guys know how to be in the movies uh, let me know because I'd like to be an extra in the back background and I don't know if that's a hard thing to do but I think I'm gonna try to do it I'm gonna see about it I'll, I'm gonna write some letters and talk to some people and see if I can make a cameo somewhere how cool would that be <laughs> now I think we're gonna make our way into Mickey and Minnie's runaway railway our first lightning lane of the day I didn't use it for Indiana Jones uh, but uh, it looks like the wait times a 75 minute wait 75 minutes so the lightning lane definitely comes in handy and look at this, Mickey Mouse. Gosh, this is swell. Mickey Mouse, he's got some big feet. Potato land, potato land. Wow, this lightning lane really come in handy today. Thank you. Hey, how are you? Got the front row, look at that. Oh, hello there! How you doing? 
Lord! Nothing was gonna go wrong. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is a very nice ride to get out of the sun because it's starting to get hot again. Uh, I think we're creeping up into the 80s. It started out in the 70s, now we're going to the 80s. Next thing you know, it's going to be so hot that uh, you, I probably won't be able to make it into the parks. Like, there are days when it gets so hot in Florida where I walk in and, like, if I'm going to Epcot, I get to Spaceship Earth and I'm just so covered in sweat, I'm like, nope. I think I'm gonna go home <laughs> but yeah it's starting to get hot out now and I think we're gonna go grab another snack and then uh, oh we got another lightning lane for uh, Toy Story Midway Mania so we have Slinky Dog Dash already booked Toy Story Midway Mania we just got done with here Indiana Jones I mean we're making our way through Hollywood Studios I kind of like it oh and now I want to show you the new snack they have a whole new uh, like food cart Right next to Baseline, they have a new uh, Coca-Cola stand called Hydraulics, and they actually have uh, food here. Bouncing mini churros. Look at that, savory churros topped with Coca-Cola and bourbon candied bacon, sriracha, aioli, and scallions. Then they've got candy painted cinnamon rolls, mini cinnamon rolls with Coca-Cola infused glaze and nuts. Ah, maybe we'll get some churros and cinnamon rolls. All made with Coca-Cola products. I decided to get them both uh, just because I want to try them. But I don't think I'm going to like the sriracha aioli on the churros there. And also, look at the cinnamon rolls. You can see the Coca-Cola like, like juice or the Coca-Cola glaze at the bottom there. So we're going to dive in. They look pretty good. I mean, look at those churros. They look like they've got a lot going on. The cinnamon rolls look like they came right out of this plastic package, though. Like, they don't look that appetizing, but I'm going to give it a go. Oh, ooh. There's a lot of stuff hanging off the top of that. Here we go. Sadly, these cinnamon rolls are, like, very dry. Like, normally I like to eat the center of the roll, but you can kind of see how dry it is in there. Makes me sad. Because I had high expectations, especially with the Coca-Cola sauce or the Coca-Cola glaze. The nuts are pretty good, but you need to have a nice ooey gooey cinnamon roll. That's how I picture it. Like, I want a center of the roll that's going to melt in my mouth. All right, now I'm diving into the churros. Like I said, I don't think I'm going to like these. I don't think I'm going to like that sriracha uh, aioli, but I'm going to give it a go. Mmm. I don't hate it, and I'm kind of shocked by it. I honestly was expecting to hate these, but they're not that bad. I don't like aioli like that, and I don't like spicy things too spicy, but I kind of think it's a unique experience. If you like sriracha uh, and uh, churros and Coca-Cola, you're probably going to love these. Oh, that's what's missing. I need icing. This kind of reminds me of sticky buns. Sticky buns. <laughs> Enough of the cinnamon roll business. I think we're going to make our way down to Toy Story Land now. I didn't finish them only because we did get dining reservations. Well, we got lunch reservations at one of my favorite restaurants. I was just browsing around in the My Disney Experience app, seeing what reservations were available, and the Sci-Fi uh, Drive-In opened up. And I love eating there. It's where you sit down in the cars and you watch uh, like uh, movies on the uh, big screen, kind of like a drive-in theater. Uh, so we're gonna have uh, lunch there after uh, we ride some rides here in Toy Story Land. Like I got it for like the next hour or two, so I'm pumped. It's starting to get real hot out here in Toy Story Land, but I'm so excited to ride Slinky Dog Dash later. Hang on. <laughs> Yo, that's such a great ride. There's no shade. That Slinky Dog is faster than a pack of critters racing for little. 
we're gonna do Toy Story Midway Mania first and then Slinky Dog Dash. Uh, but I'm excited to play Midway Mania. I'm gonna try to get a high score, so I'm not gonna film much on there, but I'll show you the results at the end. Uh, and then uh, after Slinky Dog Dash, like I mentioned, we're gonna go to uh, Sci-Fi uh, Drive-In. Sci-Fi Dine-In? Dine-In. I always say Drive-In, but it's Dive-In. Dine-In, Dive-In. 55 minutes, so I'm happy we got the lightning lane for this one too. Look at that. I love how the queue for Toy Story Midway Mania is like all my childhood games. You got Uno. Got a nice little hidden Mickey up here too. I always like shooting and showing that hidden Mickey right here. But then these are actually like real uh, movie scenes. Look at that. I take this game very seriously. And uh, the practice round, don't, uh, don't waste your arm strength. Just practice a little bit. Don't go ham. Wait till the wait till when it counts. When the points count. Oh boy! See right here, nice and easy, nice and easy. I'm I'm throwing pies at Buzz. He's trying to shield. I'm trying to hit him in the head. <laughs> okay, now it's time. It's game time. 251. Woo -hoo. Look at that. Holy moly. 251. Best this hour. That's me. I'm good at this game, but I'm not that great. Best this month is 684,000. I got 251. Who's getting 684,000? And we're back now. Meeting agenda uh, is as followed. Plastic corrosion awareness meeting with Mr. Spell. Bubble wrap, don't pop. 251,000, look at that. Now my arm hurts so bad. But it's time to ride Slinky Dog Dash and that's probably what I've been excited for most today. And then we're gonna go get dinner at Sci-Fi. Can't complain about that, even with a sore arm. 130 minute wait, that's crazy. But I'm glad I got the lightning lane. I'm telling you, the wait times have been pretty busy all day today. One of my favorite things in the queue of uh, Slinky Dog Dash is uh, uh, Wheezy's box right here to his toy. And it says, Squeaky Penguin Bat Toy. Squeeze him, he squeaks. Not for use in water. Isn't that so cool? Look at Slinky Dog. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Big finale. You got a friend in me. Everybody ready to sing along? Slinky Dog Dash is definitely my favorite ride, probably in Hollywood Studios. Nope, nope. 
Tower of Terror. It'd be between Tower of Terror and Slinky Dog Dash. Rise of the Resistance, I think it's really cool and it's such an immersive ride, but those two rides really just make me happy and I smile and I laugh and I'm glad I got to ride it. And now we're gonna head to Sci-Fi, drive in, dine in, and we're gonna get ourselves uh, maybe a fancy hamburger. Here it is, sci-fi dine-in theater restaurant. And you sit in cars just like that and you watch uh, movies and it's gonna get dark in there, but I'm excited to see how this camera is gonna do. And here is a look at the menu. Like I said, mostly like burgers. They've got crispy onion rings, fried dill pickles. And then they've got uh, the feature film burger, which is kind of like a monthly special. So I always go with that depending on what it is. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to show you guys a little bit. They even have some pasta in there and some grilled chicken. Everywhere has a chicken sandwich. Is it your first time here? Oh no, I haven't. I've been here before. So we're going to go back in time to the 1950s, driving the time. If you look to your left, you can see props and posters from the movies that we play here today. Ooh. And if you have to use the restroom at any time, you can get out of this hallway. Here is our car that we're going to be dining in. We got the front seat. And look at the movies. Invasion of the Sauce... Saucer Men? This looks cozy. I love it. I was gonna get the featured film burger, but it was a pastrami burger, so I just got the the uh, barbecue burger, the drive-in burger. Looks pretty fancy. Ruled by super intelligent beings. One of the most fascinating fields of modern science deals with the possibility of life on other planets. This is our story. Through the years, there have been frequent rumors that Martians disguised as Earthmen walk amongst us. These stories are perhaps strengthened by the thousands of reports of unidentified flying objects passing in an endless procession across our skies. I'm not a big soda fan, but I had to get a cherry Coke. And it's got a real cherry in it. Intermission time, and I got my burger. Look at that. Nice little car hop. I wonder if I can sit it right here like that. Oh, look at this. I mean, at least they're beefy burgers, though. Lots of barbecue pulled pork on there, and we're diving in. This is piled high with barbecue pork, onion rings. Look at that bacon. I love it. I like the french fries, too. Sci-fi dine-in was so good. I love just sitting there, just hanging out, watching the movies, eating burgers. I had to be real quiet, though, because it's a movie, so... I really couldn't talk that much and the lighting's not that best, especially when you're trying to show the food, but let me tell you something, it tasted pretty good. I mean, it's just burgers and sandwiches, but you're paying for the experience and the ambience of being inside there. And now I think we're gonna start making our way out and call it a night. We're gonna have to make our way back home to see little Gracie girl. Gracie girl, yeah, it's nice to see you. What are you doing? You wanna go for a walk, huh? You wanna go for a walky walk? You wanna, you want a cookie? Gracie loves these cookies that I got for her from Publix. Uh, they're really cool, and I don't know what flavors they are. They have like, like uh, cookies that look like chocolate chip cookies. They have these ones. Kind of reminds me of my grandma. So I went out and I got like a cookie jar, and it's Woody and Bullseye, and it kind of reminds me of me and Gracie girl. But what I've been doing, right? So I've been taking one of these each, like this, and I've been putting. And one inside her little backpack here like this. I'm gonna put it right in here and then it kind of shuts it so she has to dig to get it out. Oh, that one might fall apart. All right, and then I take another one and I put it inside the bag and then I put this inside of here and she can smell them and she has to get them out. And it's really cool because it's really fun for her. Look at this. 
It's like her little backpack, like I'm packing her a lunch. Isn't that awesome? And then I give it to her and she literally, she can get them out, but sometimes it takes her a little bit. But I'm gonna show you. I'll see if I can get her, or at least speed it up. It didn't take her long to get the cookie out of the front pouch. Now she's going for the other one. Look at her. Use your brain. Yeah, it's in there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you didn't get it? It's there. It's still in there. Oh, did you really get it out? Did you get that out already? No. Did you eat it inside the bag? You didn't get it out. It's in there still. This is quality entertainment right here. This is quality, oh, there it is. You got it. While Gracie is enjoying her cookies, I wanted to show you guys some really cool pieces that my good friend Gary gave to me. And the reason why is because he gave me these cool things from when MGM Studios first opened. Look at this. These are presses from the opening day. And then uh, this is absolutely amazing. This is an opening day Star Tours watch. And you can see inaugural flight January. I can't read that date 100%. 1987, I think. And also, look at these matches from the Disneyland Hotel, Pleasure Island. But this one, this one is so amazing. Look at this. The tobacco shop at Disneyland on Main Street. How amazing. That's so cool. And I love that. Isn't it? So I, it's just something I, I always like showing you guys this because I love that there are people out there who appreciate it as much as like me and my friends do because I think this is just so cool. The history. I love Disney history and I love Disney MGM Studios. And with that... We are done here today. Gracie enjoyed her little cookies. I love her little backpack because, you know, I mean, she has to like use her brain to actually, you know, get the little cookies out. And it keeps her smart, keeps her on her toes, always keeps her guessing. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video. I had a great day at Hollywood Studios. Slinky Dog Dash was fun. And like I mentioned, oh, I love the blueberry waffles. If you guys have any cool breakfast recommendations at any of the hotels, resorts, or even ones inside the park, uh, like I said, I really kind of want to, you know, start making some videos about that. Maybe I'll talk about the pancakes next. Some of my favorite pancakes around Disney property. Uh, but uh, yeah, let me know in the comments and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!